What's going on guys? This is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you that how you can install any Linux distro in your Windows operating system using the WSL. WSL stands for Windows Subsystem for Linux and the current version of WSL is WSL2. And using this WSL, you can easily run any Linux operating system into your Windows operating system. So in this video, I'm going to guide you how you can do that. So without further ado, let's get started. So guys, right now here you can see I'm running Windows 11. If you want to see your Windows version, you can press Windows plus R key and type here WinWar, then press enter. And here you can see my Windows 11 version, 23H2. Now to install the WSL, what you need to do, just click on start and search for terminal. Right click here and run it as administrator. Now to install WSL, you just need to type one single command. Type here WSL dash dash install. Then press enter. And that's it. And now this command is going to do everything to install the WSL for Linux or Windows subsystem for Linux on your Windows operating system. It's going to take some time, so you have to wait until the installation get completed. Okay, so WSL has been successfully installed and by default the Ubuntu Linux operating system comes with WSL. Now to make the changes, you have to reboot our computer. So you have to close the terminal, click on start, go to power and restart your computer. So after the restart, you will get automatically open up your terminal window. Then it will ask you to set a username for your Ubuntu Linux operating system. So type here your desired username. Then press enter, then give a password, then press enter, then retype the password, then press enter. And here you can see the operation has been completed successfully and the installation has been successful. And here you can see now we are in Ubuntu operating system. Right now we are in Ubuntu 22.04.3 LTS version. So this is now Ubuntu operating system. Here we can type the Ubuntu Linux command. Let's update our Ubuntu packages. Here I'm going to type sudo app update. Then press enter. Then give your root password. Then press enter. And it's going to update the Ubuntu Linux packages. So right now we are in Ubuntu Linux operating system in our Windows computer. So like this using the WSL you can install Linux operating system in your Windows. Not only Ubuntu operating system you can install various other operating system in your Ubuntu subsystem Linux. So let me show you how you can do that. Now take another tab and type here WSL dash dash list dash dash online. Then press enter and here you can see all the Linux operating system that you can install and use in your Windows operating system. Here you can see also you can install Kali Linux operating system. You just need to specify the distribution with the WSL command. And using that command, you can install the Linux operating system, whatever you want. Let me show you other way to install this Linux operating system in your Windows WSL. So click on Microsoft Store and open it. Then click on search bar and type here Kali Linux. And here you can see Kali Linux, click on it. Then it will show you the install button. Click on install. It's going to take some time to download the Kali Linux operating system into your WSL. So you have to give it some time. Okay. So guys, here you can see Kali Linux has been installed. Now click on open. And it should open up another terminal window. Let me close the old one. And now here you can see it's again asking for an username. Type here your desired username for Kali Linux. Here I'm going to type my username. Then type the password. Then again retype the password. Then press enter. And here you can see now we are in Kali Linux operating system. Now if I type here cat slash etc slash os dash release and press enter. Here you can see we are now in Kali Linux. Now to again run the Ubuntu operating system, take another tab and type here WSL dash D Ubuntu. Then press enter. And here you will see the Ubuntu terminal. This is our Ubuntu Linux operating system. Now if I type here cat slash etc slash os dash release and press enter, 
here you can see we are in ubuntu operating system and this terminal is in kylinux operating system so like this you can run multiple linux operating system in your windows operating system using the wsl now let me show you how you can get the graphical user interface of your kylinux operating system so first of all you have to update the kylinux packages so type here sudo app update then press enter then type the root password then press enter now this command going to update all the kylinux packages okay so all the packages has been updated now you have to install the kali win cakes package on your kylinux to get the graphical user interface of kylinux so type here sudo app install kali dash win dash cakes then press enter then press y and enter now this command going to install the win cakes on your kylinux machine Okay, so WinCakes package has been successfully installed. Now to open up the Kali Linux graphical user interface on your Windows using the WSL, type here cakes dash dash win dash s, then press enter, then give a password or set a new password for cake server, then verify the password again, then for view only password select n, then press enter. Then click on allow and here you can see the Kylinux operating system on your Windows operating system with the graphical user interface. Now you can graphically use the Kylinux operating system on your Windows operating system using the WSL. Now let me show you if you close every terminal how again you can run the Linux operating system on your Windows computer. So again click on start then search for terminal and open it. Now assume that we are going to start or get access into Ubuntu operating system. So here you need to type WSL dash T then Ubuntu. Then press enter and you will get the Ubuntu terminal access. Here it is. Now to get Kylinux operating system, take another terminal and just normally type here Kali and press enter and you will get Kylinux terminal. And now to run the Kylinux graphical user interface, type here KX dash dash win dash s then press enter then type your password then press enter and you will get the kylinux graphical user interface pop up quickly there you go there is our kylinux operating system now you can graphically take use of kylinux operating system in your windows operating system so guys like this you can easily use wsl or windows subsystem for linux to run any Linux distribution in your Windows operating system. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you like this video. If you really like this video and enjoy this video, then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends. And guys, if you need to this channel, then please do subscribe to this YouTube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification. I'm Mehdi Shakil, you're watching this tech tutorial and I'm signing out.